Hey YouTube, it's Story here, and today I'm coming to you with another fiendish leather guide. So my first one was hotfix very quickly because it was skinning demons and was counting towards the achievement to get the mount in the zone as well as you're getting leather. So this one here is located in the zone Akrogon, and you want to teleport to the Akrogon Hoffel. Sorry about my pronunciation, it's probably awful. And then you just want to follow the footpath to here. Now the mobs we're going to kill, some of them are a bit dead at the moment because it's a pretty high populated area, are just basically the panthers from across here to here, and they have like a four spawn, so there's always going to be some, um, what they're called pantheras up. So basically I'm just going to aggro all these, I'm going to do it for about an hour, and I'm pretty sure it's close to the amount of leather for an hour that you could get at the other spot, maybe a little bit less. But yeah, I'm going to fund this for an hour and I'll come back to you guys with the results. Hey guys, so I'm just about 10 minutes into the farm, and just for anyone who doesn't know, you get an ability when you're in the zone of Argus, so called Light's Judgment, you can use it every two minutes, and it will actually one-shot every mob and make it very quick with the skin. So make sure you're using that every two minutes, guys. So as you can see, it just one-shot everything, and just really good. So it should just go on your bars, but if it hasn't, you can actually get it from the Argus dropship. Um... And it's just called Light's Judgment, so you can make a macro slash class Light's Judgment or something. But yeah, it, it is really handy for this area. Just group everything up every two minutes and kill it down in between. But yeah, enjoy. One hour later. Hey guys, I am back after one hour of farming. As you can see, I got 15 at 37 leather. So slightly less, but I mean really talking about like 70 leather. There was a bit of competition sometimes because there's a chest there that people can't open. And honestly, like someone tries to open it every two minutes. So hopefully that will die down and it will be a bit more quiet. Um, I did also get one of the new skinning pets, which you can get. So the regional market value on that at the moment is 28k. But um, as you can see, there's one on my realm for 5k. So I'm really not too sure where that price is going to settle. It's the first one I've got, and I've done like two or three hours of skinning. So I'm not too sure how rare it is. I did get 27 primal saragites as well, as well as one uh, shoulder enchant. And as you can see, I got quite a lot of stomachs. So I'm just going to open all the stomachs now, just so you guys can see. And yeah. Then I will add it all up and give you guys a rough price. But I mean, at the moment, it's really hard to get a price because the price of leather is going up and down really fast. So it's really hard to see where it's going to settle at the moment. But yeah, just going to open these real quick. Okay guys, so after opening all those, you can see I've got a few items. Um, I will be releasing my oddly shaped stomach opening video tomorrow. Uh, where I'll be opening 300. I also can give you an average price and how much is in each stomach. So that I think it was around 57 gold. So that's what I'm using to calculate when I get stomachs. Um, so the total price in leather using regional market value is 56k gold. Uh, the primal sour guys are priced at 100 gold each because if you don't have a crafting profession, there's really only one thing you can do with them, and it's not really. Um, it's like on my realm, it's about 100 gold difference between obliterum and primal obliterum at the moment. So it's not really worth it. Um, and then, yeah, the pet I added in at 28k gold. But, I mean, really, I'm not sure where that's going to settle. So these are all really rough prices. But at the moment, if I was to sell that and get all regional market value, I'd be looking at around 90k gold. So I, at the moment, I get a lot of whispers saying, how are you making gold? How do you make gold at the moment? Just the professions. Like, right now, it's really quick turnover. Everyone wants to level up their new, get new recipes, you know, whatever. Especially herbalism. A lot of people want to make the new health potions and... You know, all, all those things, and uh, alchemists are trying to make the um, new trinkets. So there's a lot of, you know, ways to make gold right now, but professions are going really well. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned to see how you can win my giveaway. And if you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy, guys. Hey guys, monthly WoW token giveaway time. For your chance to win for the month of September, head across to my Azura Wellbling Gold Farm Guide, like and subscribe, and make sure you leave a comment. A random comment will be selected on the 1st of October. Good luck everyone that enters. Thanks for subscribing.